All right, welcome back, cruisers. Today I have Alex with me, and we took the amazing dune buggy with lunch tour. What's up, cruisers? Today we're heading to Jamaica, and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. We paid $39 each. The company behind the excursion is Yaman Adventures. We'll add the link to their website in the description. Nothing to say? <laughs> About to get really muddy. The Yaman Adventure Park is about four miles from Ocho Rios and about 46 miles from Falmouth. Here you can see the dune buggies getting lined up. They're RZR 570s, I think. Most of the decals were ripped off of them, so I'm not really sure. But if you know what they are, please put a comment down in the description so we can tell everybody and share it. They were pretty cool though. They went pretty fast. Um, not as fast, I don't think, as the ones in Aruba, but they were still pretty fun. Yeah, I'll put a link to the Aruba video. Those those were pretty cool. They, these were a lot quieter too. HTTPS colon slash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, those ones were just like unrestricted, like exhaust sounds. Up here we had to circle around the camel enclosure so we could get everybody lined up properly before we could move on. There were no camels in the camel enclosure at that point though. There are some low hanging branches. That, that you got clipped by one, didn't you? A little bit. Yeah, some of the trail was paved, and but most of it was just cut through the woods, basically. Lots of mud puddles, and it was a lot of fun. As you can see in the video, it was uh, it was raining pretty good while we were there. But I think even if it wasn't raining, you're probably still going to get wet on this when you go through the uh, river crossing, the mud puddle, <laughs> like through the water. I don't know what they want to call it. It was just a huge mud puddle at one point. That part will be coming up here in a second. Yeah, there's one of those, uh, the yellow bags we bought. Those are dry bags we bought to uh, use on our jet skis tour, but they worked out great for this. Kept all of our electronics and uh, dry clothes dry. I'll throw a link down in the description. This was the lookout spot, but uh, it was raining the entire time, so we really couldn't see too much of anything. I imagine on a clear day that this would be pretty, pretty nice. You can pretty much just see the sea in the skybox. Yeah, kind of a dreary mess. But after a few minutes, we were on our way again. Oof, this part was a little rough. <laughs> fast, you're like twisting the wheel. That's really okay. fast too and slippery. Yeah, there were some deep ruts. It looked like there was a lot more trails that we didn't get to go on. There was a lot of there was a lot of cutoffs that we didn't take. A lot of turnoffs that we didn't take. They had mentioned that I think this was like a 800 acre plantation that we'd be exploring. I'd be surprised if we got to maybe 20, 30 acres of it at the most. Yeah, it wasn't very long. Yeah, we're going pretty good there. I'm pretty sure the fact that it was raining made this a lot more fun. Uh, there was a cameraman there. Um, throughout the tour, they shot photos in like three or four different spots, and you could uh, purchase those at the gift shop afterwards. $20 for one photo or $50 for all of them, and they would transfer uh, the digital copies to you. Yeah, when we drove through this, I was fairly sure there was going to be bugs and spiders and stuff dropping in on us. Which there were a few, but it wasn't that bad. So they lined us up before it and told us that we were gonna go one at a time and then waved us on to go two at a time. Pretty cool, you could see like a massive wave of mud just flying over us, but we didn't really get any on us. It just kind of went like in the floorboards. You can see here there's a uh, photographer off on the left-hand side and these are the shots that uh, we purchased. Definitely take uh, shoes you aren't looking to bring home with you. They got soaked and muddy. So here at the halfway point, we got to switch drivers. Um, I hopped out, let Alex hop in the driver's seat. Switch in time. Uh, a lot of people switched, some people didn't. The cart in front of us actually, those were two single drivers that didn't come together, but they paired them up for the, uh, for the excursion. Here you're about to see some expert driving. Um, way better than uh, Dad's clip, but... Um... Yeah, maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say, you guys can be the judge. You didn't flip it, so that was that was a plus. 
Yeah, but you can see since we switched at the midway point, both drivers got to experience pretty much the entire trail. Except for the lookout point. I don't think you got to drive up to the lookout point. That only happened once. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that awesome view again. Yeah. Didn't really miss too much. See incredible handwork on the steering wheel. <laughs> Coming into this turn, hit the apex completely perfect. Lewis Hamilton would be just taken aback. You see, we're not going terribly fast, but it definitely felt like it. And you know, this whole route, this entire tour, the part where you were in the buggies was only about 30 minutes long, but it felt a lot longer than that when we were out there. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. This part was a little narrow and muddy. It was good. Made sure to get closer to the branches on the right side. Nice. Which is kind of one of the things you got to keep in mind. If you're coming from Falmouth, you're going to spend far more time on the bus ride there and back than you are going to actually be driving. Yep, here we're already back at the, uh, the starting point. Everybody circled around and, and shut the uh, UTVs down. And you did a pretty good job driving. You can see they were a mess inside when we were done. These bags worked really well, though. And, uh, you can see we uh, clipped those dry bags right onto the, the back rail. It's worked out pretty well. After the tour, you walk back up the hill to get the lunch part of the tour, which was jerk chicken and beans and rice. And it was actually pretty good. They were cooking it right here on site. All right, guys, I think that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See you later, cruisers. Hi, guys. I hope you liked our video. If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and hitting the notification bell. And make sure you share this video with your friends because it helps out a ton and it keeps the algorithm happy. Bye!